Rebellion. Don't like the look of this.
the arms. Confirm them. What a relief. Another pensive. Your ability to transfigure the world around you is remarkable. What is it? My father isn't getting better. 
I don't think he'll ever recover from the death of my brother. It is agonizing to see those we love suffer. The trout was years ago, but the pain of losing him is as deep for him now as if it had happened only yesterday. He doesn't need pretty pillars, he needs peace. What if I could help him, Professor? You do so much for your father already. It's not enough. I want to take away his pain. It is tempting, I know, to use this magic that you're mastering to transfigure more than the physical world. But human emotion is a potent force unto itself. Even the most well-meaning and competent witch cannot possibly know the consequences of irrevocably manipulating it. So I'm to watch as my father's pain destroys him. It is not your pain to take. Every year a student sees something sillier than I could ever imagine in their tea leaves. Oh, Miss Morgana, welcome back to Hogwarts, Professor. That's going to take some getting used to. Mm. Professor Rickwood? I was so pleased to hear that you'd accepted the position of Defense Against the Dark Arts, Professor. Sit, sit, Isadora. Tell us about your travels. I was actually hoping that you and the others might join me at my home this evening. There's much I'd like to share with you. That would be delightful. We shall let the others know. Very well. I shall see you then. Hmm. Another memory. Now to find a way out of here. More crystallized stone. That must be the way back to the map chamber. What have we here? I'm a student at Hogwarts, sir. And this is Professor Fig. Professor Charles Rookwood at your service. Has someone completed the first trial? I have, Professor Rookwood. We saw you in the pensive in Gringotts with Professor Rackham. Indeed. So, you found the port key to access Professor Rackham's vault, and you deciphered the map within the locket you found floating above that pensive. I did. I found something that I can't identify floating above the last pensive. Ah, yes. You will find a similar artifact in each trial. You must take care to keep them safe. You will need them to complete the journey we have set forth for you. Once you have them all, we will tell you what to do with them. Very well. Are you able to tell me anything about the next trial? Before you proceed, I would like to speak with Charles regarding the urgent situation involving the goblins. The goblins? The student has seen traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. They and their mentor, Professor Fig, not only encountered goblins lurking outside of San Bacar's tower, they also encountered a powerful goblin in my vault at Gringotts. Hmm. I'm afraid it would be wise to halt the trials until we know more. We shall defer to you in this matter. Of course. Now then... Wait, Professor. The name Rookwood. Do you think... That there's a connection to Victor? Perhaps. But we can't be sure of its significance, if any. For now... Tell me what you saw in the pensive. Before the witch from the last pensive, Isadora, became a Hogwarts professor, she argued with Professor Rackham about using magic to remove pain. Hmm. Hopefully the next pensive provides more context. For now, we should learn what Ramrock knows. I will be honest. I've no idea where to start. Actually, I might know of someone. I saw Sorona at the Three Broomsticks speaking to a goblin once. 
They seemed friendly. Well, it's worth a try. See what you can find out. Of course, don't forget... My studies. Yes, sir. Uh, before you go... Professor? Have you encountered swirling traces of magic in the world? Uh, aside from those along our path? Not that I recall. What are they? Evidence of the Keeper's efforts to manipulate the power of ancient magic during our time. If I am correct, and I usually am, you should be able to use them to inform and enhance your own magic. Thank you, sir. I will look out for them. I should ask Serona at the Three Brook. I've got spectacular news. The broom upgrade's ready. Ha! Stop by the shop when you can. I hope you will come and see me about a pressing and highly confidential matter at your earliest convenience. I believe that we may be able to help each other. See me after class once you have completed the tasks I've set for you. I would like to teach you Descendo, useful for pulling objects to the ground. Handy resource indeed, your field guide.
Hogsmeade, here I come. Welcome. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. What can I do for you today? A wise decision. Thank you. A wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Welcome back. I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. I truly appreciate all of your help. What are we looking for today? Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. What are we looking for today? Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again.
Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Just let me know if there's something in particular you're looking for. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. What can I do for you today? A wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. What can I do for you today? I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. What are you up to now? Expelling armors. I've always said that.
cleanse the mind. I used to write to my parents every... Hello again. Were you able to get to Honey Dukes? Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, a Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not! Uh, um, from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. If you wouldn't mind humouring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Ooh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? <gasps> yes! Terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigodes. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. The faculty tower. I'm not sure I should be going in there. Oh, you needn't worry. Uh, you'll be perfectly fine if you simply mind you're not seen. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh! I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, 
You'll find one statue in the Prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. Alohomora. Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. Is that so? Uh, we're raising a generation of coddled cape flappers that can scarcely tell the difference between Arcanite and Asphodel. Yes, well. This must be the Prefect's bathroom. Hello, Hamora. Allow them to have wands. One of those goblins comes near me, I'll hand him his hand. Or 
hell, I suppose. Anyway, I'm not afraid of a goblin rebellion. My marks in Professor Hecker's class are superb. I don't think that's what that class is for. He's right. Why don't you leave goblins alone, troll? How dare you speak to a prefect that way? I'm a prefect too, you twit. That's it. 50 health points. You know you can't do that. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. On your clip. <laughs> Revelio. I know when I see a winning bet. And Raven anyway. I'm partial to Hufflepuff myself. I thought I heard something. Oh, 
I suppose I should pay closer attention in the next match, if there ever is one. Lohamora. Fortunate to have a student brave enough to eradicate the demiguise figurine menace. Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. If we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the boggart in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. I'll see what I can do, but I'm fairly busy. I can't promise anything. Uh, understood. Uh, but I hope you will find the time. In case it matters, I do have something to offer in exchange for your assistance.
Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Oh, and I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. What are you up to now? <laughs> <laughs> 